In this video, I'm going to uh, show and explain you how to navigate from uh, top to bottom from our campaign, which is the top, down all the way to the bottom of the pyramid, which is the customer short terms. And we achieve this using the little icons that you see under each name. So right now we are at the campaign on the campaign page. Okay, and we are showing this is a test account, it's a fake data, and we are showing you all the campaigns that are within this account. Um, if I want to single out one campaign and I want to see what ad groups are within the campaign, uh, let's say, for example, the Silicon Brush campaign, I will just go under the Silicon Brush campaign title and click on the red framed icon. This will, as you see, view ad group silicon brush. So clicking on this will allow me to go and pull out the ad groups that are within this campaign. As you can see, there are three ad groups, one broad, one phrase, and one exact. And what I can do now, I can choose to go and see what SKUs or what ads I'm running within the broad match ad group and in order to do so i can simply go under the ad group uh, name and click on the powerful box which refers to product ads which has queues or asins so clicking this will allow me to move to a page that's going to show me what ads i have inside this ad group if the next step below is i want to see what keywords i'm running within this ad group I'm going to just use the yellow key and I'm going to click here and I'm going to be shown simply and exclusively the keywords that have been running within the campaign silicon brush, the ad group road, and for the AC. Okay, and right now there is only one keyword that has been running in this account, uh, sorry, in this ad group. Uh, given the fact that this keyword is a broad match, what I can do, I can dig even one level deeper and I can go and pull out all the customer search terms that have been uh, generating this amount of sale over the last six months, that is the time frame that I selected up top. And in order to see the customer search terms, the only thing you're going to do is simply click on the, uh, this black icon. And this will pull out all the customer search terms that has generated a sale from that broad match keyword within the last six months. What I can do here, I can sort them down by sales, for instance, and I, I can do that over here. So I can tell you very easily that the term brush, brush is silicon, is a fantastic term because generated a lot of sale with a fairly low acres so what i will do what i should do if i didn't have an automated system running like i will explain you you can have with zone tools you will take all these terms and add them back to your exact campaign in order to dial down to your winning terms and, and win with the pc if from the bottom right now i'm just at the bottom of the pyramid if i want to drive all the way up to the top of the campaign level I simply need to click over here, the campaign name. If I was willing just to go at the ad group level, I would just click on the ad group name. So let's go all the way up to the um, campaign. So I just click over here. And now what we can do, we can choose rather than just seeing the keywords that are only in one ad group, we can see all the keywords that are within this campaign. And in order to do so from the campaign level, which we are now because it's written campaign, I'm gonna just click the keyword icon and you will see that now we are on a keyword page and I'm showing you all the, all the keywords, in this case only three because it's a test account, that have been running within that campaign. And each keyword, there is a, on the second column we are telling you which ad group they belong to so what you again you can do you can sort them by sales descending which has been already done and you can clearly see that in this case the silicon brush is a broad match generated most sales than anything else over the last six months 
Now, if I was interested in checking all the customer search terms that were generated within this campaign, what I would do, I would go back at the campaign level, just click here. I would, from the campaign, I would just click on the black icon in order to see all the customer search terms that have been, which I've been bidding on, on this campaign. And once more, I can sort them down by sales descending, which has already been done because it was a selection I used before. And I can tell that within that campaign, the best selling term was silicon brush brushes again, but not from the broad match, which before we've seen, matching all the data together within the campaign, I can tell that the phrase match was actually the one performing the best, bringing the most volume at the ACOS that is very, very similar to the broad. Okay, so this gives you data to optimize, to choose what keyword you want to uh, keep, uh, what keyword you want to pose, or how to uh, update your bids, or how to, yeah, basically gives you data in order to make educated decision on, on what strategy you want to, you want to take. Um, if I wanted to go and check the statistics of this keyword, I would simply click on the keyword. And here you are, you are back to just the keyword. And now you see the keyword in total, what the statistic of it. And if you wanna see the statistic of the ad group of which this keyword belongs to, you just click on the ad group title. And you will see simply the statistic of the phrase. Okay. Um, this pretty much explain how you use how you click on the titles and you click on the icons in order to navigate from the top, which is the campaign, all the way to the bottom, which is the custom search terms, and up again or stop in the middle. And now you can choose to see all the data within that campaigns versus simply the data within an ad group or simply the data within uh, customer search and data within a unique keyword. Um, for this video, it's enough. Uh, stay tuned. In the next video, I'm going to show you how we navigate with the left menu. Um, so thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.